Hello and welcome to the Saigon Times Briefing. I'm Phuong Lin with the top five socioeconomic events this week. Vietnam weighs electricity price hikes in 2023. VNA to resume more air services to China. Over 100,000 million VND in taxes proposed for extension. Interbank interest rates surge. Vietnam's rice prices soar to two-year highs. Vietnam is considering hiking electricity tariffs this year as the last adjustment took place almost four years ago while input costs of power generation have soared since. Deputy Minister of Industry and Trade Đỗ Thăng Hải said at a press conference on February 2nd that the hike would be carefully weighed given inflation risk. He added that under the current regulations, if input costs increase or fall by three percentage points or more, electricity prices could be adjusted accordingly. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính recently told the Ministry of Industry and Trade to urgently change the electricity price bracket and adjust power retail tariffs. The ministry has asked Vietnam Electricity Group, or EVN, to regularly update input costs and hire independent auditing units to examine the financial situation of this group and its member units. Vietnam Airlines, or VNA, will reopen international services on five more routes linking Vietnam and neighboring China in the next two months, raising the total number of Vietnam-China routes operated by the airline to nine, just one less than the pre-pandemic level. The national flag carrier announced that it would resume services on the Hanoi-Beijing route in March with three weekly flights. The flight frequency between Vietnam's two biggest cities, Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City, and China's Guangzhou and Shanghai will also be increased from one or two weekly flights per route to four. In April, the airline is set to reopen two weekly flights in four routes from Da Nang to Guangzhou, Shanghai, Chengdu, and from Hanoi to Chengdu. Wide-body aircraft, namely Airbus A350s and Boeing 787s, will serve passengers on the Hanoi-Beijing and the Hanoi-Ho Chi Minh City-Shanghai routes from September this year. Though the number of VNA flights connecting Vietnam and China remains fewer than in the pre-pandemic period, the airline is expecting positive growth in the upcoming time. The Ministry of Finance is seeking feedback on a draft government decree on the rescheduling of payments of value-added tax, or VAT, corporate income tax, or CIT, and land rent amounting to over 100,000 billion VND. The draft decree by the ministry proposed granting a six-month payment delay of VAT incurred from January to May 2023 and the first quarter of 2023, and a five-month payment delay of VAT incurred in June 2023 and the second quarter of 2023. The total amount of VAT from January to June and the first and second quarters of this year is estimated at 64,000 billion VND to 65,000 billion VND. A three-month delay is proposed for CIT incurred during the first and second quarters of 2023 with an estimated total amount of 42,800 billion VND to 43,600 billion VND. The ministry is considering a six-month deferral from May 31st to November 30th, 2023 for half of land rent incurred in 2023. The total rent of land and water surface to be delayed is estimated at 3,500 billion VND. Interbank interest rates surged last week as the State Bank of Vietnam, or SBV, the country's central bank, shifted from net cash injections to withdrawals from the banking system. February 2nd saw the interbank rate for the nine-month term jumping to 13% per annum from the previous 9.61%, but the transaction volume was merely 200 billion VND. The overnight rate remained stable at 6.26% a year, a little bit higher than the earlier session and 1.7% higher than the year-ago period. Overnight lending accounted for about 95% of all transactions, topping 225,700 billion VND. Other interbank rates on loans with 10 years of one week, two weeks, one month, three months, and six months increased to 6.46%, 6.66%, 7.57%, 8.94%, and 11.45% per year, respectively. The rate stayed high despite the central bank's steady cash injections in the banking system since the end of the Lunar New Year, indicating the liquidity problem plaguing the banking system is not yet over. 
Export prices of Vietnamese rice have surged to two-year highs, offering a bright prospect for the country's rice export sector this year. The export price of 5% broken rice on February 5th was 473 U.S. dollars per ton, up 15 U.S. dollars per ton month on month, while the country's 25% broken rice increased to 453 U.S. dollars per ton. In December last year, Vietnam's export rice price gained the top spot in global markets at 438 U.S. dollars per ton of 5% broken rice and 418 U.S. dollars per ton of 25% broken rice. Đỗ Hà Nam, vice chairman of the Vietnam Food Association, attributed the surge in export rice prices to global economic uncertainties, the Russia-Ukraine military conflict, and the strong demand for food stockpiling. Vietnam's major rice importers such as China, the Philippines, and Africa are rushing to stock up on rice, said Nam. Many local rice exporters said they received numerous big orders in early 2023 to ship rice to South Korea, Malaysia, Singapore, Europe, Australia, and the United States from now until the second quarter of this year. That's all from us for now. Thank you and see you next week.